Turn it off. Visit DelAir.com today. I'd like to welcome back to the show Dominique Landry. She's a personal trainer. Her company is called Fit Enough. And today, fact or fiction? <laughs> Dominique, welcome back to River City Live. I have basically four questions I'm going to ask you and let us know if it's fact or fiction when it comes to working out. So are okay. you... <laughs> All right, so the first one, lifting weights. Does that make you bulky? Um, so that's a great one. And I feel like that's something that people say, especially women to me all the time are like, oh, I cannot lift weights because I do not want to get bulky. And that is, it's, it's, it's fiction, it's a fallacy. I mean, can you get bulky lifting weights? Yes, the answer is yes, you can get bulky lifting weights. Um, but will you just get bulky if you lift any weights? No, not at all. If you're doing um, light weights, high reps, or even heavy weights, low reps, you're, you're really just like building and strengthening your muscles and toning in a way that's really good for your body. So, uh, you know, the whole, like, I only want to do cardio because I don't want to look like a quote unquote man or whatever the kind of things you hear often. It, it's really just one of those things that I, I don't know where it came from. I guess because you do see people in the gym that do look very bulky and they're lifting weights, but trust me, like, most of us are not lifting at the amount that they lift, at the number of days they lift, the amount of time they lift, or taking in the kind of protein that they're taking in to bulk up in that way. That is really honestly like a true, like you have to work to get that bulky. Um, it's not just something that you're going to do randomly if you pick up a weight. <laughs> I would imagine, too, you almost have to be at a caloric surplus in order to get huge size. Oh, indeed, yes. Like so your, if you're your eating normal. Has to be, your protein levels have to be high. And granted, like, you know, I feel like that's also kind of a fact or fiction thing. Like, if I eat too much protein, will I get bulky? Like, honestly, no. Like, most of us probably aren't getting enough protein in our diets. Um, but yeah, the caloric intake does have to be high. Your protein levels have to be high and the amount of weights you're lifting really, it's, con it's a considerable amount of weight. Most people are not lifting enough to get bulky. And I promise you, if you ever ask someone that big, most of them won't tell you, uh, <laughs> actually, now that I think about it. They probably won't tell you, but they are lifting a lot. And it is it is like you you do have to try. It's not something that you're just like in the gym and all of a sudden you're bulky. All right. So that's a good one. Great answer, by the way. All right. <laughs> you even added in too the, the protein side of it. So a bonus point for you, Dominique. All right. <laughs> the, next, the next one. Can you do crunches and target belly fat? Oh, guys. I'm sorry if you think that doing a hundred crunches a day is going to give you a six pack. It's not right. Um, <laughs> because the thing is, and I'm one of these people, I will only always have a two pack because of the way I eat. And I'm fine with that. Right. That is all I go for. Just those top two, um, because I don't want to eat the way I need to eat to get rid of my belly fat. And that's the thing. So, and that's regardless of wherever the fat is. So, you could have tons of muscle under, like we all do, like that muscle, but guess what's on top of that? The layer of fat. And so if you crunch all day and work your obliques and abs and everything else, if you're not shredding the fat off of your tummy, no one's ever going to see all that work that you're doing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings us to the next question then. Can you target any area or... It sounds like it's just, it's the whole piece. <laughs> Absolutely not. You, there is, there is no way to target just one specific place to lose fat. And it's so funny because I like people, like I, as a trainer, I feel like that's what I get the most. Like, I only want to lose fat here. I don't want to lose fat here. And I'm just like, well, <laughs> the way this works is that, you know, we're going to try to get you, uh, you know, at a point where you're at calorie deficit because that's how you lose fat. First of all, like you have to be at a caloric deficit and we're going to get your cardio up to help you lose some of that fat. And we're going to weight train to help you build muscle. So you actually have like a toned body and we can build the places that you still want to stay either a little thicker or however it might work, but there, there is no way to spot train. If you, if you're losing fat, you're going to lose it from wherever. And a lot of the times that's genetics too, where you 
where you, you know, certain people tend to get more fat in their stomach when they, you know, first get it. Some people get it in their hips, some people get it in their arms. And so there's a genetic portion of that. But again, we can't spot train. It's, it's you're, you're going to lose and you're going to lose everywhere. All right. Now the last one is cardio versus weights. Okay. So Ooh. do you burn <laughs> more calories doing cardio versus weights? Do you burn? Oh man, that's, that is a really rough weight. one. That's a really <laughs> rough one because you know, it, it all is like based on metabolism one, um, the kind of cardio you're doing too. And so the, the answer is like, there is no, better option, cardio versus weight training. You really do want to be doing both because what helps you lose weight is spiking the heart rate and bringing it back down. So, you know, if you're running, say, a mile consistently, your heart rate usually is tending not to spike because once you get a rhythm, then it's like your heart rate stays steady versus if you did, you know, sprint drills, so you could run the same amount of distance for the same time, but you did sprints and then slowed down and then sprint again and slowed down. And so you were continually spiking your heart rate, then that's going to, you know, make you burn more calories. And it's the same for weightlifting. If you're doing a lot of like clean and presses, that's getting your heart rate up. That is getting um, the calorie burn. So it's just like, it just really depends on the way you're training, either your cardio or your strength training um, that will really kind of determine that how much of like a caloric burn you're getting and so it's like a a impossible question to ask yeah also like you know you should be doing both regardless (laughs) and i think a lot of people what they do is they put it in a box it's either cardio or it's either weights and that's it and basically what you're saying there's so much more to it so you can't think that way right exactly there's so much more to it and it's just like one of the things where it's like you, you, when you think about working out, you should really be thinking about like training your body one to do just like the everyday stuff. Right. Um, and you need, you need both cardio and weight training for those things because every day you are, you're walking distances every day, you're lifting heavy things and really, you know, our working out should kind of mirror like what it is that we're doing in our life, what it is that we need to be healthy for in our life. And so, you're not just, you know, you're not just doing one or the other in your life. And so if you think about it like that, then you're just like, oh, that's right. I should be doing X, Y, and Z because like my, my life looks different daily. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And you know, thanks again too for all of your time and information. I know a lot of people, especially when they're starting out, they get confused because there's information out there, but it doesn't mean it's correct. And the last thing you want to do is put in all this effort and not see results. I know. It's terrible. That's that's like the worst thing, right? When you feel like you've done the research and you're doing all the work and you're not seeing results like that, that is heartbreaking. (laughs) Now, if people want to see results and learn more about you, how can they contact you? Yes. Um, they can follow me on Instagram at fit underscore enough, or they can check me out on my website, www.imfitenough.com. I usually just give a free of ton, like a ton of free content. Um, you can ask me any questions. I'm always willing to answer. So yeah, check me out. All right, Dominique. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. In times of instability and disarray, look to the first responders. In times of anxiety and doubt, look to your first informers on The Morning Show. Your complete resource for what you need to know right now and what to expect in the day ahead. The country can safely reopen schools later today. Real local people.